Let's now go back to what was headlining last week. And a lot of focus, of course, had been on uh, the 16% of VAT on petroleum products, which the president proposed to cut to eight. Uh, he sent back that finance bill to parliament with a memorandum. And on Thursday last week, members of the National Assembly got to vote. Or did you? What exactly <laughs> happened? <laughs> and that's I a think, question. I like, yes. I like that. And that's that's a question, that's actually. That's did, a question. We, did we actually get to that's vote? Before, that's a question. We, before I even come to the members of the National Assembly, John, <laughs> you watched that circus. Yes, I did. Just before that, members of the National Assembly had used every possible platform to promise Kenyans that we will be and will stick with you to the end. We will defy even the president. We will defy our parties. We will defy everyone. And we will be with the constituents, we will be with the people we represent in this house. That was a call. Did you see that? No, what I saw is what a Kenyan described that come and drama and come find you. Mm -hmm. That's what I saw that day. Because <laughs> what happened was so unbelievable to the to the observer that you know you come away wondering what did I just mm -hmm. witness? Because in the run up to the vote. We were aware that there was a parliamentary group for Orange, at Orange House. There was a parliamentary group meeting as well at State House. And even coming out of the meetings, the MPs were very, they sounded, I mean, I listened to Didi Masbarazan was saying, you know what, we you mm -hmm. know who we are standing with, and this is who we are standing And I was hopeful. But that day what I realized was there was a level of um, trickery that happened where mm -hmm. If MPs were genuine that they were going to stand with us, very simple thing would have been to do what? As soon as they got in, put in your cards, let's do an electronic vote, Iki to request Safi. Mm -hmm. Everybody can see, eh? The goal line technology is now there. Yes. Let's just do this and once you can and even for tell all. Who voted how. But in acclamation, we can't tell who voted how. Mm -hmm. We'll hear eyes, nays, we thought it was straightforward, but the ear of the speaker had eyes, did mm -hmm. not hear the nays. And then when Justin Muturi stands up and starts, this is the official Hansard, loud consultations. That's when I realized, ah, ah this we'll thing, Bana, we've been played. Mm -hmm. Guys had a predetermined outcome, but they decided, you know what, we cannot be seen to be not standing with Kenyans, so let's just do this hula balu. That is me as a Kenyan observing. So yes. whether the, the MPs were genuinely standing with us or not, as far as I'm concerned, they had a predetermined outcome. And just did this afternoon to show us, by the way, we really tried. But at the end of the day, they got the result that they exactly wanted. Yes. Joy, it's, it's, it is a process, it's a process of uh, presiding over such legislation that is so key and will affect Kenyans to such a high extent. That process we saw in Parliament. Is that how you go about it? Let me first of all talk to what Joy said before we talk about mm -hmm. where we go about it. Give credit where it's due. I am doing my third term in Parliament. This is one of only two occasions I have seen when members have defied leadership, including the president and uh, you know uh, our party leader. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you the other one I saw was uh, during the Kibaki Raila time, and uh, that one was on the interest rate capping. Mm -hmm. And we were called. I think uh, that time actually even our leadership tried it a bit better which was neater, even though they tried it this time, it's just that they tried Jubilee on their own and uh, NASA on their own by having, uh, not NASA really, but ODM, mm -hmm. having the parliamentary PG groups and trying to convince members. That time we were called together, almost three times. <laughs> once at, uh, I think twice at KICC, once in parliament. Oh, and I think the second one was on the ICC. Two times, this is that time. On the ICC also, members defied the leadership. And on the ICC, they said, let's not be vague, let's go to the mm -hmm. Hague. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is my third time, actually, that I've seen. So let's give credit where it's due. There was no monkey business. Parliamentarians, majority, were standing with the people. The people I sympathize with, who cannot say, and I'm sure my sister will disagree for obvious reasons, is the leadership was also... Uh, you know, the leadership, meaning here the chairs, the deputy chairs, had no choice. Mm -hmm. Because then, if, if, if they went any other way, most of them were going to be de-whipped from leadership. So they had no choice, even though they were with the public. Oh, the, the, even though they were parliamentary leadership in parliament yes. or the house leadership? No, I'm not talking about the Muturis. Mm -hmm. I am talking about now the chairman of transport, oh, yeah, the chairman okay. of what, mm -hmm. the chairman of what. They were actually majority of them. 
were with us who were opposing, except they couldn't. So what if you actually read, sometimes in parliament it's not just what people say because not everybody will get a chance, but you will read something that all the, part, the leadership were there very quiet, not trying to do anything, but very quiet. Then you will also observe another thing, that there are people who are usually vocal like me, that were supposedly on the ears, but not very vocal. You need to also highlight that, I wouldn't mention names, but there are people who are ordinarily extremely vocal and will do the most outrageous things when they believe in something. And there were yes, but very muted yes. That tells you how people were leaning. Because some people were being compelled either because of party positions or because of, you know, whatever. And we were, a lot of us were actually finding ourselves put in a very awkward situation because we were, we, turned bet we were put between a rock and a hard place. We don't want to defy our parties. But on the other hand, we don't also want to go against uh, what looks obvious. I want to say what Honorable uh, Mbadi said, our party chair. We are agreed, if you ask me, we agreed on substance. Where we differed is the form. And the substance here is there's a drowning child. How we were saving that child is what we disagreed with. All of us agree there is actually a drowning child here. And that drowning child is the ordinary Kenyan is a drowning child. The problem was how do we rescue that child? And we disagreed. Some did, of did, us did, said... Did, did, you, did, the, did, did you rescue the child at any point? Yeah. We tried. We tried and we actually had what I would say in Kijaluo. People say when a strong man is stepping on your pipe, on your pipe, or your smoking pipe, how do you deal with it? And the strong man here now was the main house leadership. You saw what the speaker did, and actually I'm hoping that uh, this, not that I'm hoping, I've actually seen somebody sent me uh, pleadings that somebody is moving with to court today. Mm -hmm. And one of the prayers is I was saying that even the eyes and the knees, Really, that in law, Alice will tell you is what we call, and, uh, and Joy will tell you is what we call reciprocal locator. Mm -hmm. The facts speak for themselves. That when they say, uh, will as many as of that opinion say, I, I, and will as many as of contrary opinion say, nay, then you say the eyes have it. It was so obvious as light as day mm -hmm. that there was such a convoluted process, but the house, the people who had a script was the house leadership, which is the speaker. What they had a, they had a to your script. Own account, what happened okay. I, I think, uh, Fred, you recall that uh, this thing started when uh, the, the bill first came mm -hmm. to Parliament, where parliamentarians uh, dropped, I think, three or four issues that the executive had brought in terms of a vote. That time, the vote required was a minority, mm -hmm. a majority vote, a simple majority vote, which then, uh, uh, because we had the 16% at that time, the proposal was that we allow 16 percent mm -hmm. on petroleum products then there was the the house um, uh, taxation or housing fund taxation and the third one was the the betting and what have you we obviously at that stage rejected those proposals among others and but of course there are also those others that we passed and even the media never picked those things. You know, at that, that time, you know, the, you know because Parliament is, is, is like condemned. Whenever, whatever you do, you don't do, you are condemned. You do, you are condemned. Those things were not well highlighted. I remember appearing on KTN and said, this is one of the days that members, because people are only concentrating on the VAT 16%. Mm -hmm. These others, is like they got lost in. Even now is the when National they Assembly did not speak much about the others. We did, we did. There, you know, but because, you, every, because given, you don't speak when you are not given a chance. It, Let's but, also be but there was a lot of process. lobby that we must drop yes. this, we must drop mm -hmm. this, we must drop this. Okay, then of course the process of the bill, it goes to, to the president for him now to mm -hmm. consent or also express Send his uh, mm -hmm. his his reservations or, or his mind in terms of that bill. And the constitution allows him to do that. He sends it back with a memorandum saying, look, we, we must look at the, 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 the past that we have. And therefore, I'm rejecting what you said, but I'm now meeting you halfway. So he actually, uh, cut it to 8%. Mm -hmm. At that stage, then of course a conversation starts, even from the, the party leaderships. Uh, look, I need your support because I've done this. Uh, but the only other thing, th th the, the, the VAT on the, the on Inu was reduced, on the petroleum was reduced. But I think the housing and the the other item, especially the betting, for me, I still think that that one should have been left to just be the way the members of parliament had done. However, 
the point is, you return back to parliament with a memorandum. The vote, total sum, number of votes to undo what the president had done is 233. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what happened on the floor is obviously nothing to speak home about or talk home about. I don't think parliament can be very proud all of us about what we did. But we must recognize also that this is a house of 349 and sometimes emotions pour out, uh, differences come into conflict. And uh, the, the, I think Kenyans must see the, the protest vote that was no as also a strong voice for Kenya. It may not but have won. How, how, can we, how can we quantify that no, protest? No, 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 no. We, you see, the number, of, the number of members that disagreed is, is a good vote. And for me, it's a good it was vote. was actually however, the majority vote. However, no, no, it wasn't because you had to raise 200. This is the, the, actually this, where my this is the problem now. Let We're me just say. Numbers. 115. This, 115, it was actually supposed problem. to be the other Nearest way. knows the constitutional threshold to throw out a presidential memorandum is 233. No, no, so no. So they needed to be extremely yes. that is not, ordinary. That is not correct. They did not get 233. They did, they did not no, get No, no, that's not correct. Let me finish. I'll explain. Let me finish. That, yes. is, that is why you okay. were counting the numbers. And indeed, if you remember, they said they had 215. Mm -hmm. Because we had quite a good number of members. The total membership that was there that was 234. And those who went out is 76. Mm -hmm. Obviously, me, I'm in the House leadership, in the parliamentary leadership, because I'm the vice chair of justice and legal affairs. Mm -hmm. I had been persuaded because the president had met us halfway. I, I was willing because what was really hurting Kenyans mainly is the VAT. And because he had met us halfway and we, we had a baby. The baby, according to Miri, is Wanjiko, is the people. But there was also another baby, the country. The country had a budget that was not being supported by the revenue. So therefore, had we not allowed that, this thing would have, uh, you, the you shilling can about have. the baby, about uh, a baby who can was I, to be know, rescued. Do you, you feel know, the baby was rescued? The baby was rescued. Eh? In my <laughs> view, the <laughs> baby was rescued. The baby this particular time is also the country. Because Wajiko lives in Kenya. Can I? And the budget mm -hmm. was less. The money we okay. had was less than the expenditure. Can I so say we something? were doing this to yes. balance things. Can I tell you, first of all, the, you cannot separate the baby and Kenya. Because there can be true. no country without Wanjiko. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the baby was Kenya and the baby was Wanjiko. Was the baby saved? You cannot. The baby was not saved. The baby is drowning. So, but so, I want so to say something. So part of parliament feels that they did the job? We did the job. Can I tell you? Oh. you know, what <laughs> they should can have I, done, can I clarify you know, something? They had numbers. You know, let me we say had this the numbers. one. Because Miri had spoken. It is true that if these members were possibly very sincere, some of them, were, you know, initially, initially, there was a list of membership that had gone up to 276. And of course, the executive was observing all this. So by the time the executive calls the PG, it's because it had seen it's losing this thing. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, looks for support from the ODM. Because we are also party affiliated also. Mm -hmm. as also the, the fact that we are also representing our constituencies. But at the voting, when the chaos started, these people were keen, those people who were no, were keen to be seen by the media to be with Wanjiko. Just to be seen. To, just to be seen. Because if they clearly wanted to be, because some were also now mm -hmm. playing with party loyalty, where will my party find me? Because they should have used the electronic have the vote counted. Uh, uh, can I, can I because, explain? So that because then, when you can uh, know, Milio, she also talk, said, can I explain? Even when you talk about the numbers, can I explain? Can you quantify when the numbers? Yes, I can quantify. Were this was can I numbers. explain to you the process? Yes. You see, Alice, we're the let me just, you were said you are pipe. Let me, let me explain what actually happened. When you do electronic voting, it is not that the members are the ones who got in our electronic voting. It is controlled by the leadership. The house leadership. That's true. So when we went straight, we were going electronic voting. So we were told, log in your cards. We did. And actually, at some point, you were seeing us. And that, that was actually after we got the eyes and the nays. Mm -hmm. We first went the eyes and the nays. And we had it. And the speaker said, no, we didn't have it. Obviously, it was so clear. Mm -hmm. Then after that, we said, then let's go electronic voting so we know how many people are in the house. We put in our cards. And in fact, before we put it, people were doing this, you know, mm -hmm. because everybody wanted to be seen. Me, I was keen for people to see where I was voting because I am represented by people, not stones. Mm -hmm. So when I put in my card, 
when you put in our card, the pre, pre-written script was to that, give that there was a number, then a, a given number walks out and then we don't have quorum. Unfortunately, they entered the wrong figure uh, in the system. And the wrong figure that was entered in the system, instead of entering 252, they entered 352, which is higher than the ordinary the m- membership of, mm-hmm. of the house. So we even uh, shouted at, at that point, we said, no, these are not the right numbers. And when we said that these are not the right numbers, then suddenly the house leadership said, no, the system is not working. And when they said the system is not working, they said they are doing a head count. And when they said they are doing the head count, that's the time members were saying, no, you are trying to rig. There was a bit of confusion. Five minutes later, they said they'd already counted and said it was 215. It wasn't us counting. We challenged that number. And at some point, we went forward and queued. And when we queued, the speaker refused. And we said, let us even put the electronic, he refused. Then he retreated as they were looking for a nice way of getting out. But having said that anyway, there was too much chaos at some point. That if if the speaker disorder. was actually honest, I also sympathize with the speaker because he's put between a rock and a hard place. He had to pass this, come rain, come shine. So he had to find a legal technicality to pass it. So that's what he, he actually did. Because if that was not the case, he should have done what he did with the security law amendment bill at Jan and let us come back later. So that it, not later even mm-hmm. as in uh, another day, the same day. You, Fred, we you only had Jan. The speaker. Uh, Fred, yeah. there's one critical oh. thing I want to oh. say that is actually going to court. That as parliament, even though it, it, we, we didn't have time, you remember there was a time we were given a chance to convince for two minutes. Mm-hmm our views, people were selected, and I was cut short. And one of the issues that I wanted to converse is that we are actually misinterpreting 115. 115 of the Constitution, if you actually read it, means that the people who are supporting the presidential position are the ones who should have gained two-thirds, not us. And it must be some, it is something that the court must decide on. We have been going the wrong way. No, no, no. It's the people who support (laughs) the memorandum. Read the constitution as it is. It is going to court. It is going to court today. It's going to court today. That's a different thing. 115. 115. It is the people who support the president. 115. It's okay. We will have the interpretation. But if you recall, the speaker gave a ruling because when they demanded to address the speaker, after the speaker came in, because now there was chaos, to start with, we must conduct our business without chaos because what is important is the vote. Mm-hmm. And Kenyans wanted to follow. And Kenyans, I care from morning, had been following the proceedings mm-hmm. until the house broke into chaos. And the people were because who were causing of rigging. chaos, there was were, the people who were causing chaos are the people who we are saying no. Mm-hmm. Because and there was an agenda. We have to create chaos. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. There, there was blatant that letters, okay. we letters. have your side. There we have your side already. Yeah. We have your side of the story. Joy, you, you did not yes. want to Joy be this kind of chaos, mm. this uh, rather obvious failure of parliamentary system, that's what they use to preside over what Kenyans are suffering today. Exactly. Yes. Mm. Should we really have faith in this National Assembly that they, even the Speaker himself, his conduct, the conduct of members of the National Assembly, that this is the way they can actually determine how or whether or not Wanjiko will have food on the table. That system that we saw, is that what we should be, we should have faith in? For me, this, this was a missed opportunity by Parliament. Because in our current system of um, governance, the executive stands alone. The legislature, dependent, mm-hmm. we, it doesn't matter whether you're in, in the minority or majority, they ought to stand alone and the judiciary stands alone. So the three arms of government are independent but interdependent but having oversight over each other. This was one opportunity for members of parliament to not give us these excuses of there was leadership, there was um, Mm -hmm. an hand from... Uhuru Kenyatta is not a member of parliament. Neither is Dipiruto, neither is Relo Dinga, neither is Kalonzo Musioka. They were not in that parliament. They did not take oath to represent me as a member of the National Assembly. It is the members of the National Assembly who took that oath. They owe their allegiance first to me, mm-hmm. not to their party, not to who, but because the party is not a ticket. To the executive. This patronage by the executive is a relic of the times gone by. When Moi would say and everybody jumps, when Kibaki would say, Raila would say and everybody jumps. 
Under the new constitution, we have a new dispensation. Parliament had an opportunity to stamp the authority as an independent body. They squandered it. And what we are treated with now, forget even that, the dishonesty started just slightly before. You saw the hearings, the, the hearings by the speaker looking into allegations of graft. And I was listening to the members of parliament, and I'm just sitting there looking, and I'm like, hey. The, in fact, again, somebody comes there and says, well, I just saw a lady, and she seemed to have Muslim dress, but I did not quite recognize her. Mm -hmm. And you want us to seriously t to believe that you have Kenyans in mind when mm -hmm. you are behaving in a manner likely to suggest that you're being economical with the truth. So what I saw in the House on Thursday, in my opinion, like I said before, and I stand by it, there was a script. Yes. Something had to be delivered. And, also, and the members of the parliament Can I also say a script I'm seeing uh, from the media? Let me say something. Can I also say a script I'm seeing from the I'll give you that opportunity. I'll give you that opportunity because, curiously, uh, we can see this headline where counties are complaining about this uh, budget, uh, budget cuts, about 9.4 uh, billion yeah, shillings yeah. budget cuts. Yes. Curiously, when it came to when it came to uh, NGCDF, the MPs, emoluments, and the CDF, yes. those ones, no, no, the, but, there was, cut. but there but was, but can I say there was a there was CDF a cut. was cut, there but, was yeah. but there was a was cut. Initially, it was to be about uh, 5.9 billion shillings we, we, cut. We lost that came down to about. CDF. Three. Can I can I can no, I also say a media script? Mm. Can I say a media script? I have told you that in my three years. In, uh, in uh, you know, three terms in Parliament, I have only seen three times when we've divided. And you cannot wish away that this time, in fact, some of us are, fa are facing a disciplinary action yeah. from our parties, mm. and we are willing to face it because we are not willing to defy our parties. But sometimes there are situations that call that you defy. They are very unique and rare. For me, there have only been two times out of those three the one of ICC, I stood with my leader. We, were, we remained at some point only me and Orengo who stood with the Raila. Mm -hmm. On the one of the interest rate capping, I defied. So for me, this is the second one I've defied publicly. Yeah? Because there are times when there are unique circumstances that force you to defy. There is a media script that we are trying to wish away what happened as part of the one of these three incidents I'm saying. The media I saw for the first time in, a, in, in I think, in my life, that media praised in peace. And your script is to take the skunk back to parliament, which is obvious because then the best, the nicest thing usually is to make in peace look bad. And so you are changing the script that what you saw was a mere, surely, a, a honorable, mere play. It was not a mere you, you, play. You do that very well for yourselves. The no, media no, no. don't have to do anything. No, no, no. What I'm With telling drama you. With on Thursday. No, no, no. What mm. I'm telling you. It's let us also not pretend. It's the same way when we had elections, then we could have said that the country was also in a sham. There are times when, because of the circumstances, things can't go logically. And like it's, in it's those situations. Just, it's just, friend, it's so it's it wasn't, just, it was, it's it wasn't not choreographed. Just it's not choreographed. A process that is so parliament key to the world, lives of Kenya. Yeah, but it was over. not. In, you know, you, are over, yeah. you, you want to assume that we are working in a situation where there are some of us who are feeling we are being driven a direction we didn't want. E even in the security law amendment bill, the same thing happened. Is, is Why didn't you say that we uh, were... What, what, does this what, happen what, in other parliaments? I, I because think, uh, you this is a media script. Party, party you are called upon to preside over. This is a script from the media. I, let let me say this. Allow. Eh? Mm -hmm. First and foremost, the media, actually, I, that one I will agree with Miri. The media must learn also to bring out the good part, the good things about parliament. This one and there the have good been part. good moments. The country runs, uh, the executive proposals run through parliament. They must be brought to parliament. And there are good things that we have also registered. And I also want to tell uh, the, the, the country, you remember, we had, and I have said, we had actually rejected this. But you know, we have also a constitution. And that's why where we are disagreeing with me, we have a constitution that has a certain way how you process the, mm -hmm. the, the, the registration. And it reaches a point where you need the numbers mm -hmm. then to show for that. And for rejecting the presidential uh, memorandum, I have said, and I will stick on that, you need to raise 233. And to raise 233, then you need to really whip the entire mm -hmm. house, possibly, the no would have managed if the parties also now did not come in to whip the PG, through the PGs. Mm -hmm. And you see, also, whipping through the PGs is also within the law. 
And the parties are also exercising their right because these are their members. Mm -hmm. And the executive has a proposal that it is bringing to parliament and it wants to be supported by its membership, including the hardship. But Fred, world over, the scene you saw in parliament will continue to be seen once in a while. Even but in it the is US. not even in the US, if, if, last even in year, the just last year even in, the in US, Europe, it was even there. in South Africa. It was you there. will continue when to see that. sat on the because floor. Because sometimes it was and you know the there was, was no there plan. The Congress. I was inside. So there's nothing the unique to Kenya. Say this nothing is normal. No, no, but it will we are not saying it is normal. It's not normal, but there are circumstances. We are not saying it is normal. But there are circumstances. It will erupt. It was not planned. Incidental. Maybe one or two members had planned. But the way because I was inside, the way it erupted. It was and, and spontaneous. It, it, it was spontaneous, spontaneous and was personally spontaneous. I regret that it had to go that way. However, they, you know, they lost the vote. It that despite no, the we noise. didn't lose. Yeah. You rigged the that's vote. The that's no. life and I'll give you a, an opportunity for your final <laughs> remarks. That's how it turned up on Thursday <laughs> and as you wake up today, 8% VAT on all petroleum products, 1.5% uh, percent of your salary, if at all you earn 100,000 or more, will have to go to the housing fund. There are a lot of more taxes on mobile money transfers, on a telephone and data bundles in terms of excess duty, money transfer from banks, uh, excess uh, duty on all transactions doubled from 10% to 20%. And this was passed with the kind of chaos that you saw on Thursday last week by our honorable members of the National Assembly.